Roku has long been known for being simple and easy to use. Its home screen prioritizes streaming apps and makes it easy to find and launch them. But after signaling that it would change its home screen during its Q1 earnings call, change has finally hit the Roku home screen. Yeah, Roku has since introduced a large ad on the home screen and more tiles. While you can't get rid of the ad, you can change the layout back to larger tiles. In this short video, we show you how to change your Roku home screen using the settings menu within your Roku device. Let's get started. So if you launched Roku and were surprised to see rows of four tiles instead of three, followed by a large ad to the right, you weren't alone. Many were surprised by this change. Thankfully, it's very easy to change back. If you prefer rows of larger tiles that are only three across, just follow these steps to change it. From the left menu, scroll down to settings, then press select. From the settings screen, scroll down to home screen and select it. You'll see lots of options you can use here to customize your home screen view, including tile size. Click that option, then click larger. If you want a very simple home screen menu that is minimized to just the essentials, you can choose to hide the recommendation rows in any of the menu items including live TV, what to watch, featured free, and sports. You can even remove the shortcuts to add apps and turn off the TV if you want to. When you're done, click the home button and you'll see the familiar larger three tile layout and a simplified home screen menu. One thing frustrating some streamers with the new home screen layout is the large ad tile to the right of the app tiles. Unfortunately, there is no way to remove that ad. It's part of a shift Roku is making toward incorporating ads into its interface. It's still better than the ad-laden Fire TV experience, but it is changing some. Yeah, in a Q1 earnings call, Roku's president of media, Charlie Collier, discussed the historic absence of ads on its home screen as a huge opportunity for the company to generate ad revenue. He said, quote, The one thing all viewers see when they turn on their TV is our home screen. And Roku's ads, as you know, are clearly placed in an uncluttered ad environment. We literally have the privilege of engaging viewers before they choose what to watch, before audiences splinter into apps. And if you think about the problem for marketers, a lot of it is attention fragmentation. So our home screen is a huge opportunity because it really differentiates us, end quote. Yeah, and it's worth noting that the main way Roku will drive ad revenue is through its fast channel, the Roku channel. But Collier's comments make us wonder if more ads are coming to the Roku home screen in the future. Yes, video ads on the home screen could be one potential addition the company makes. And that would be an expansion of what it does now, which is to have a recommended content row at the top of the screen. Thankfully, though, you can remove that by clicking settings, then recommendation rows, and then hide. Yeah, it is good that Roku's interface is still uncluttered, but how it changes over time and how many ads Roku decides to integrate into it is something we'll keep watching. Ad-supported plans are the norm in the streaming space, and streaming services continue to raise the price of ad-free plans. So if you prefer ad-free content, it's more important than ever to stay on top of your streaming expenses and take steps to reduce them. That's something we'll keep helping you do in our videos and in our live streams, which are on Fridays at noon central. Well, that does it for this video. What do you think of Roku's latest home screen changes? Let us know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can get all our latest news and reviews when they drop. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.